Ernst Fischer's essay, The Necessity of Art, a Marxist approach, delves into the indispensable role of art in human society from a Marxist perspective. Fischer's Marxist lens illuminates art's fundamental connection to the socio-economic structure and its imperative presence in both revolutionary and oppressive times. At its core, Fischer's argument underscores the intrinsic relationship between art and society's mode of production. He contends that art is not merely a luxury but an integral component of human existence, shaped by the prevailing economic system. Fisher asserts that art mirrors the material conditions of a society and acts as a reflection of its class struggles. In a capitalist society, where materialism reigns and class disparities are pronounced, art becomes a battleground for ideological conflicts and a medium for expressing societal contradictions. Fisher's Marxist viewpoint highlights how art serves the ruling class by perpetuating ideologies that maintain their dominance. He argues that the ruling elite exploit art as a tool to uphold their authority, using it to propagate narratives that justify the existing social order and subjugate the working class. Art, in this context, becomes a means of ideological control, perpetuating false consciousness among the oppressed masses. However, Fisher also accentuates the emancipatory potential of art within a Marxist framework. He sees art as a force capable of challenging the status quo and awakening class consciousness. Through its ability to evoke emotions, provoke thought, and unveil societal contradictions, art becomes a catalyst for revolutionary change. Artists, according to Fisher, possess the power to disrupt established norms, question oppressive structures, and envision a more just society. Moreover, Fisher celebrates the revolutionary potential of art by highlighting its ability to unite people across class boundaries. He argues that art has a universal language that transcends societal divisions, appealing to shared human experiences and emotions. This universality enables art to mobilize the masses, fostering solidarity and inspiring collective action against oppression. Fisher's essay also underscores the dialectical relationship between art and the material conditions of society. He contends that art is not a static entity but evolves with changes in the economic system. As the mode of production shifts, so does the nature and function of art. For instance, Fisher discusses how the rise of industrialization altered artistic forms and practices, leading to new expressions and mediums that reflected the changing social landscape. In conclusion, Fisher's Marxist analysis of art elucidates its multifaceted role in society, depicting it as both a tool of domination by the ruling class and a vehicle for revolutionary change. Through his perspective, art emerges not as a detached realm of aesthetics but as an inseparable part of the socio-economic fabric, deeply intertwined with the struggle for societal transformation. Fisher's essay invites a critical reflection on the relationship between art, ideology, and the material conditions of human existence, advocating for a conscious utilization of art in the pursuit of a more equitable and just society.